Hey everyone, welcome to Super C. My name is Percy Jules and today I just couldn't resist reflecting a little bit on last night's Eurovision Song Contest. We've seen another very interesting addition. Now I have to say that a little while ago I posted a video on my top 5 favorite songs of this year's Eurovision Song Contest and even though none of those songs ended up in the actual top 5 this year, I still stand by my choices. Because if you listen to those songs um, intrinsically, so in and of themselves, they're still among my favorite songs of this year's edition. But what we've experienced last night yet again is something that is very difficult, if not impossible, to put one's finger on. It is the magic of the Eurovision Song Contest. I mean, you can have a good song, um, but the Eurovision Song Contest is not only about the song itself, and most definitely not about the studio version of a song. It is about a live performance, and the live version of a song can be very different from the studio version of a song. And then there is also the live performance, you know, so the vocal performance, uh, the stage presence, uh, the timing, uh, the act, the emotions, you know, and all of that within the context, that very unique context of the Eurovision Song Contest. Now again, that total package you see on stage there is very often very different from the studio version of a song you hear on the radio, for instance. And that's what makes the Eurovision Song Contest such a special event. And last night was no exception. So let's talk a little bit about what happened last night. And let's start with uh, Israel. Now Israel they had a song which was pretty okay, a party song. Uh, the performance was not that bad. Vocally it was okay. Uh, the stage presence of the performer was very good very comfortable on stage, you know, but it just didn't have that edge to make it stand out. And I think that is why it ended up pretty low. So next up was Poland. I have to say the Polish singer was very good, very good singer. But similarly to the story with Israel, the song was okay, but it just didn't really stand out. And that's why Poland ended up very low in the end results. Okay, next, Belarus. I actually like Belarus. You know, first of all, I liked the song. It was a very Eastern European folk kind of music. Uh, very uh, sympathetic. Uh, I also liked the performance. It was a duet. Two good singers. The chemistry between the two on stage was a little bit non-perfect, so to speak. Nevertheless, a good performance. Uh, they ended up on the 17th place. For my taste, that was a little bit too low, but there you go. And then Austria, well, I already talked about Austria in my top five videos. It was one of the songs I picked. Uh, I also liked the performance, it was pretty well sung. Um, also, the stage presence was okay, very fresh energy. Uh, but, you know, they ended up on the 16th place. Nah, I can live with that. And then Armenia, I actually really liked Armenia. The song has a lot of traditional Eastern European influences. Uh, it has a very nice vibe with a lot of suspense, I would say. Uh, the performance was very good. You know, I just really enjoyed that. Uh, they ended up on the 18th place, much too low for my taste. Okay, next the Netherlands, um, vocal performance amazing they really sung very well as a team uh, you know very well done flawless performance and then Moldova well Moldova really had a party song it was really a party act uh, the performance was very good. Uh, it had a very nice positive energy which translated very well to the people in the audience and also the people at home and they got rewarded for it and that's why they ended up third. Okay, next up is Hungary. Well, similarly to the act of Armenia, uh, they also have a traditional Eastern Middle European vibe to the song. I really like the song. I like the performance also. Um, and they ended up on eighth position. Well, I think I kind of agree with that. And then Italy. Well, Italy was actually the odds-on favorite to win prior to the competition. Um, and if you look at the song, really nice song, was actually one of my favorites in my top five. And also the performance I liked very much. But they just lack that little edge to go all the way. And from one point of view, you might say, that is a bit disappointing having been the favorite, but nevertheless, good song, good performance. There you go. 
and then Denmark. Also a top five song of mine, so a very good song, I think. A little bit old fashioned, but very good. Uh, but then the vocal performance. Amazing. She is probably technically one of the best, if not the best singer in the competition. So very well sung, but somehow the song just didn't catch on. And that is why she ended up only on the 20th position. And then Azerbaijan, which is also one of my top five songs. Very good songs. This is one of those songs that I think could do very well on the radio, but also the performance wasn't all that bad, I thought. Uh, but still it didn't go any higher than the 14th position. For my taste, that's a little bit too low. And then Croatia. Now Croatia, that was a very special act. Uh, actually a pretty good singer, a very good opera singer, and also a pretty good a pop musical singer and he combined those two into one song uh, I think a lot of people still have to get used to this kind of singing uh, but you know what he did pretty well and then on to Australia now I don't know what it is about what's in the water in Australia or whatever it is but the vocal performances from Australians is always up there and this time even though it's is we're talking about just a 17 year old guy was no exception at all. You know, very well done. He has a great voice, very well sung. A great song, by the way. So I was very impressed. And then on to Greece. Well, it's very similar to uh, Israel, for instance. So nice song, nice performance, but it just didn't really stand out. Now, Spain had a very cheerful song, pretty nice, but sorry to say it just couldn't compete with the other performances. Now, Norway, pretty interesting, is also another song that uh, could do pretty well on the radio. Also, the performance wasn't too bad, and they ended up on the 10th position. I can live with that. Okay, next up, the United Kingdom. First thing that comes to mind is the vocal performance. Mm. Very good. Uh, also, the song was pretty good, I have to say. And they ended up, uh, let's see... Oh, 15th position. Hmm, should have been a bit higher, I think. Okay, Cyprus. Mm, feels like I'm repeating myself a little bit, but, you know, also nice song, nice performance, but didn't really stand out. And then Romania, that's another country just like uh, Croatia who experimented with two styles combined into one song. It's pop music with some yodel uh, technique things. Uh, they did it pretty well, I have to say. And that's why they ended very high. And that is seventh. Not bad. Now Germany ended second to last and in my opinion that's much too low. I mean the song is pretty okay, it's a pretty okay song. The performance was pretty good actually. Uh, you know they would have never won this competition but second to last. And then Ukraine, the home country, they performed a rock song, the only rock song in this competition, in the final at least also didn't really stand out and that's why they really ended low um, second to last and then belgium belgium very interesting the belgian song was actually very popular already before the competition um, so very good song the performance was pretty good too um, and you know they ended very high because of that and they ended fourth i think yes fourth well deserved and then on to Sweden. Now, throughout the history of this competition, Sweden has been one of the dominant forces uh, of this competition. And also this year they came with a very good song, which also might do very well on the radio. Uh, also the performance was very good and they ended in fifth position. Nothing strange about that. And then Bulgaria. Hmm. Only 17 years of age. But the vocal performance was amazing. I mean, a very well sung, very good voice, very good technique, uh, very emotional, you know, very good song. Ah, impressed. I'm just very impressed by that. So well-deserved second place for Bulgaria. 
And then France. Well, France came with a pretty traditional French song. So anyone who's a fan of that will have liked this probably. Uh, good performance. There you go. So there were some good performances, some great performances, some amazing performances. And then there was Portugal. I mean, I listened to the song before the competition, so the studio version of the song. It, it's a good song. It's a good song. Um, but the performance, that, that was... Uh, I have no words. That was just amazing. That was just so well sung with so much feeling, so much emotion. Um, you know, there was just no doubt in anyone's mind, I think, that this should be the winner. And he won. And he won clearly. So, you know, congratulations to Portugal for this amazing performance. Um, thank you for that. Okay, so that concludes my review of the 2017 Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, but I'm also very interested in your opinion. So let me know uh, what did you find interesting. Uh, do you agree with Portugal as the winner or not? Uh, do you agree with some other positions? Um, what did you enjoy? What didn't you enjoy? You know, whatever it is, let me know. Leave a comment. Uh, for now, I just want to thank you for watching. And I will talk to you soon.